Hello and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm working on this little table here. It's a really interesting table. I've never seen one like this. You saw me in a previous video cleaning this piece, but it's got a shelf on this side. And then on the other side, you're not gonna be able to see it. There is a magazine, like a magazine holder. I've never seen a table like this before. So I grabbed it and um, I'm gonna give it a little makeover. So I love picking up pieces like this. Uh, for numerous reasons, but one of them is because I get to try new paint colors on a smaller piece like this. So uh, I shared that Dixie Belle came out with a new line of colors in their silk all-in-one paint, which is the primer, the paint, and the top coat all-in-one. I love this stuff. I will leave a link to it in the, in the description, uh, but they haven't come out with new colors in a long time. So I grabbed a few colors. I have shared a couple of them already here, so check previous videos, but I'm going to do this table in Smoky Mountains. So first, um, I thought I would just kind of go through the process of this makeover and what I did, and I will link to, I have a blog post about this process um, that'll kind of go in depth more about it, so I'm not gonna share all of that here today, but the first thing I did, you saw that, in a previous video, like I said, I cleaned this really well. It, it had been sitting maybe in a garage or whatever. It needed a really good cleaning. Anytime you're going to flip furniture, always clean it. Even if you it came from like the cleanest space and they cleaned all the time, always clean it. Just because you don't want the dust and stuff to get in your paint. <clears throat> Secondly, I went to mud it, some of the veneer. I thought it was just around the edges here, so I needed to patch the veneer. So as I was going to mud it, I realized that the veneer was a lot worse than I thought it was. So I had to remove all of the veneer off the top and on the bottom underside here. Everything else was fine. Um, and I do have a whole post about how I do that. There are a couple different ways I do it, but I use the wet uh, rag uh, towel for this one. So I share that all in the the blog post that I will link in this description. So I had to do all that. Once I got all of that off, um, which it is a really easy process, especially if your veneer is really all the way, almost all coming off anyway. Um, but after I did that, then I gave everything a really good stuff sanding. Then I took a, a damp cloth and I cleaned off all of that, um, you know, like the sanding dust. And now it's ready for paint. So. One question I get a lot is, first of all, I'm just gonna let you know, I'm going to set this down on my drop cloth here. I'm going to use all of this first and then I will throw it out. There's a lot of paint here. So um, <clears throat> this is an old tablecloth. People ask me every time they see it where I got it. It's just an old tablecloth that I now use, a drop, use as a drop cloth. Um, Okay, I don't remember what I was saying there, but <laughs> let me just, oh, I know what I was gonna talk about, the scuff sanding. So, you basic, if you're going to paint a piece of furniture, I will get questions that will say, do I have to sand it first? My paint can says, you know, I don't have to even sand it. I am going to tell you, no matter what your paint can says, I would definitely scuff sand. Now, and you can see here, a scuff sand is up here. It's, you can see this is like down to raw wood. So this is not a scuff sand. This is like sanding all the way down to raw wood. That's because um, I took the, all the veneer off. So then there were little pieces of like the veneer I just had to sand off. And so I got the raw top. Here, this is just a scuff sand. So even if your paint can says, no need for sanding, I always sand you know, just a scuff sand. It's just going to help the entire process, the paint to stick, you know, the primer to stick if you are using not silk and all of that's already in one can, which I'm just gonna, <clears throat> again, talk about this paint. So if I did not use this paint and I was using just, you know, like maybe from their regular line, like their chalk line, their chalk uh, mineral paint, I would have to now, this would just be a primer coat. 
So I would have to get my brush out and I would have to do an entire primer coat. And then <clears throat> decide if the coverage, if I thought the primer was good or not. Maybe, some, because sometimes I have to prime twice, um, do two coats. So if I needed two coats, then I wait for the first coat to dry and then I do a second coat. And then I need to wait for that to dry. And now, once that dries, that second coat, then I can go in and put my paint, my color, you know, on the piece. Does it need two coats of paint? If it does, I have to wait for that first coat to fully dry before I can do a second coat. So then, can you just see, it's just such a long drawn out process. If you can get a product that's got, well, let me, I'm just getting ahead of myself. <laughs> So then after I get my paint on there, let's just say two coats, I have to wait for that to fully dry, and then I have to put a top coat on it. It is definitely a process, I've done it for years, that's how, what I've done for years. And then when I discovered this silk paint line where it's got it all in one, uh, I haven't looked back, unless there is a particular color, um, because there are some colors in there, just their chalk paint that I just absolutely love and just use in our home a lot. Uh, you know, unless there's like a certain color that just comes in their chalk paint, I'm going to always grab this silk paint because it's got it all in one. So this right here, it's been primed, it's been painted, and there is now a top coat on it. So if I need another coat, which I definitely will, it's, it's just all one more coat instead of six more coats of, you know, depending on, you know, the, the top coat, the you know, the primer, the paint, it's, it's just, it's a game changer, especially if you're somebody that's flipping, like if you're flipping to sell your pieces, uh, this is going to save you so much time in your projects. And I do teach, I have a furniture flipping academy that I teach how to sell pieces and how to, you know, grow a business that way. Uh, and this time, when you're doing, when you're flipping furniture to sell, Time is money, just like any business, right? Time is money, and so the more time you can save, the more money you're gonna make. You can get maybe a couple projects done in the time it would take you with regular paint and regular top coat and all that, uh, compared to like, you know what I mean? You get a lot more done. That didn't make sense with the way I just said it, but it's just, it, this stuff is just a game changer, so uh, I love it. And so when they came out with a new, new colors, I could not, I could not order fast enough. I ordered the day that they were available. <laughs> and this, it's called, it's Smoky Mountains, right? I just wanna make sure I have this right. Yes, it's kind of like a blue, gray, green color. It's really, really pretty. I am using also, uh, I, you know, I'm using a Dixie Bell small brush just because there are a lot of curves and a lot of little nooks and crannies. Uh, you could definitely spray this if you wanted to, uh, and you can definitely roll it. So I, those are some more questions I get. A paintbrush is easy for me. I have, um, I have a drawer of paintbrushes here in my office. So I don't have to run out to the garage and get like a roller pan and get the roller and get, you know, and I don't have to set up a spraying booth. Especially for small projects like this, I'm fine to do this with a paintbrush. And for me, to be completely honest, grabbing a paintbrush and sitting down to do this, I will turn on a podcast, um, listen to music, or it's just, it's just one of those things where I can... I can just zone out and not have to be on my computer or on my phone or you know what I mean? I, it's kind of like they say it's paint therapy and I, and I get it just because I can just kind of, just like I said, zone out. I can't get on my computer when I'm doing this. I can't check messages on my phone or anything. I'm just completely just, just immersed in the project. Okay. Another thing I will tell you that um, is so important is to invest in good brushes. Now, when I first started flipping furniture for our home, that's how this all started. I bought the cheapest brushes I could find. We did like for everything when we were painting walls, when we were painting furniture and that was just the worst 
That was the worst decision. Uh, so I always tell people when they ask me, invest in good brushes because they will last you forever. As long as you take care of them, clean them well, they will last you forever. You buy the cheapest brushes and you're just gonna keep buying them. They're just, they're just garbage. So I do have a couple of favorite brands. Dixie Bell's got some great uh, brushes. That's what I'm using right now. Uh, I can leave, I'll leave, I'll leave links to a couple of my favorites here in the description of this video. I love zebra paint brushes and they're not that expensive. It's not like I'm telling you to buy $60 paint brushes or anything like that. Um, some of my favorite brushes are like $11, $12. Uh, but just invest in some good brushes because otherwise you're just going to be, you're going to throw out those, <laughs> those cheap ones. You're going to get so frustrated. Oh, I can tell you, we would be painting, like I'd be doing a small table like this and I would get, you know, halfway done or something. And then I'll be looking it over and then I'll notice that there's parts, you know, the, the, paintbrush is falling apart inside the paint and I may have not have noticed it when I was painting and now the paint's dry <laughs> so now I have to go back and sand it to get the paint the the paintbrush out of the paint on the piece it's just a nightmare so just invest in some really good paintbrushes it's gonna make all the difference and like I said they're gonna last you forever so you're not you're not having to replenish them it's like you you buy them once, take good care of them, and um, and uh, like they pay for themselves, especially if you're flipping for profit too. Um, they'll definitely pay for themselves in your first couple of flips. And you should be painting like if you just. I always say paint is my favorite DIY tool because it's inexpensive, but it gives you like the biggest bang for your buck. So yes, paint, paint your rooms, paint your furniture, paint your, you know, whatever it is, um, art. I am always, I'm sharing here also like videos of, you know, thrifted makeovers and decorating your home on a dime. So one thing I do, you know, you're painting things that you're finding just to make them over exactly how you want them. So painting is your, it's just like, it's just the best for DIYing and like I said, getting the look you want. Paint doesn't cost a ton of money and it doesn't take that much time, but it gives you like a huge, huge wow factor. It's like a big difference for not a lot of money spent, so. Okay, I'm just gonna continue to paint this. And then, like I said, check the description of this video. I just thought that I would come on here and kind of talk about some of, you know, do's and don'ts and some of, you know, how I make over furniture, some of my favorite products that have really been game changers for me. Um, this paint, this silk paint is something that I recommend to, uh, I'm just gonna kind of move this over. I love to recommend this, especially to beginners too, because you don't have to worry about finding the right top coat, finding the right primer. Find, you know what I mean? You don't have to worry about three separate products to have to get. You just get one can. Pick a color you like, <laughs> and you've got everything you need in that one can. So until you start getting more comfortable with painting furniture or whatever that, um, you know, it's just it's just a good it's just a good paint to start with. We have actually used it um, on walls too. We used it. We made over a closet for our daughter to have kind of like her art space inside the closet. We just gave it a little bit of a makeover, and we actually used the silk paint on the kind of like the what do I want to say like vertical. It's not shiplap, but we added some like vertical weights coating or to the wall. And so I used the silk paint to paint that. It worked amazing. So definitely a good paint to try if you're a beginner or if you're somebody like me that's been flipping furniture, DIYing for years. And I'm just, I'm to the point now where it's like, 
I need to find products and things that are going to make my projects go faster, make them easier to do, you know, those kinds of things. So if you're somebody that's wanting to get, you know, save time on your projects, you've been doing this for a while, you'll love the silk paint. It's so good. And this color is so, so good. It's so pretty. Okay, I'm just gonna continue painting and then I will show you the makeover when I'm all done. The lighting isn't great right in this little corner. So we are in um, the middle of making some changes all around the house. So we have been repainting walls and just um, removing things from walls. And so I just set up this little corner for this table just to kind of show you how I would uh, maybe style it or how I would use it. So on the other side, you know, that's where the magazine holder is. So you could definitely put books and magazines in there as well. You just heard the dryer go off. Uh, but this color is so pretty. Um, again, it's called Smoky Mountains and I do have it linked in the description of this video, but I just love the little shelf that this table has. You could, you could obviously put books on there or whatever, or you can put little decorative things. Um, but then you have the storage on the other side for books and magazines as well. This is, I've just never seen a table like this. I had to bring it home. It was a relatively easy makeover. Um, it's got a lot of fun details with the curves on the legs and just, I've just never seen a table like this. So this was a fun one to make over um, and to try this color out on. So definitely, if you like a smoky blue color, that is definitely what this is. Uh, it's, it's just so, so, so pretty. And that paint, now it's got the top coat on it as well. So I didn't have to do anything else to it after I got the second coat on. Obviously I let it um, dry. You wanna make sure that it's fully dried uh, before you put anything on it. But, um, but yeah, I'm super happy with it. Love the color, will be using this color again. Like I said, this is not, a, it's just kind of a cloudy overcast day and there's not a lot of light in this little corner, but I just had to share it with you here. Let me know if you have any questions about furniture makeovers in general, uh, about the paint, about paintbrushes, anything like that. Let me know, leave them in the comments and I will be happy to answer them uh, when you send them in. So if these projects, easy projects, painted furniture projects that I share here on my channel, if they're helpful or if you know somebody else that could um, benefit from them, please share my video. I, I really appreciate when you share my video and I am uploading new videos every week. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and you uh, click the bell so you're notified when new, new videos are launched. So until next time, I hope you have a great day.